the benefits are the engagement, the active learning, the fact that students have, they can't just get on their PowerPoint and send emails back to each other or do shopping. When I heard everyone else telling, you know, telling me from their own experiences, because a lot of them have traveled all over the world and seen, you know, how the, um, how health policies are, or how uh, people run healthcare in other countries, they've seen it firsthand. So um, I was able to listen to them and I was able to gain an appreciation for it. What's my role? Facilitator, not the arbiter of all knowledge and facts. So many times people get up in front of a class to run a discussion and they suddenly take over the role of being the expert. I think the way she uh, sort of was unbiased toward the views that was generated during the discussions was very important to facilitate the discussion. So she sort of encouraged both sides of the debate through the class, throughout the class. I thought it was helpful to have like specific questions that we were discussing rather than to just say, well, so what did you think? Um, which can lead anywhere and a lot of times it leads to a lot of silence. So if you have a specific question that's open-ended and I also liked how things are noted on the board because then I yep. can look up there and say, well, what was it that we were talking about and what has been mentioned or hasn't been mentioned um, is it kind of helps things sm smoothly move, move along. I had this up before you walked in because I knew what my questions were going to be and I had a way to organize what I thought you might say. There's a, I always run out of room. <clears throat> you know, some, some rooms you have a lot more board space. But you've got to think that through before you walk in. You've got to think, what questions am I going to ask? What's likely to come back to me? How am I going to organize it so it stays up there in some meaningful way so that we can then turn around and, you know, summarize it? Or at least be able to keep looking at it and going back to it. So the board plan and the questions is a critical part of the art of, re of leading a discussion. I want them in the moment speaking with me and each other about the kind of issues that we want to talk about. So in their real world lives, when they go back out into the, into the real world and they're sitting at a meeting and the topic is whatever it is, they can think all the great thoughts they want, but if they can't articulate them in a convincing way and make it fit the discussion that's going on around them, they're going to be totally um, unimportant. So it's a, it's a critical skill set to be able to communicate that way. Mm -hmm.